Welcome back, or welcome if you are new. My name is Tanya of The Oily Life, and on this channel I like to share natural DIYs, clean living, essential oils, all the good things. And today I'm going to be sharing how I make a DIY body butter. It's super smooth and silky on your skin. It won't leave you feeling greasy. It's way more affordable than buying it in the store. And bonus, it's made with all clean ingredients. So to get started, I just have a glass container right here. And I'm going to put in one cup of coconut oil. There we go. And coconut oil is great for the skin, really good as a moisturizer. And then next, I have half a cup of cocoa butter, and I'm just going to pour that in. You could also use shea butter or mango butter, either one would work, but today I'm going to use cocoa butter. It has a nice chocolatey scent. And as we're getting closer to fall time, I thought that'd be really nice for this particular body butter. So now that I have both of those things in my bowl, I'm just gonna put it in a double, or boi double boiler ugh, over on the stove and then get it all melted and be right back. All right, now everything is all melted down. So now we're gonna add in one tablespoon of jojoba oil Jojoba is really great for your skin. It kind of is um, acts just like your skin's own natural sebum does. Um, it's more of a wax, but great for all skin types. Got that in. And then some vitamin E I'm gonna do in between a teaspoon and a tablespoon. And then get everything mixed together. And vitamin E is really great for your skin as well. Um, it also helps act as a natural preservative and is super moisturizing. All right, so everything is all combined. All right, so everything is now all combined. So what we do next is we just let it cool off completely and so that it's more of a, a solid form again. And then once that happens, we will be ready to start whipping our body butter. So as you can see, the mixture has firmed up. So what we're gonna do now is transfer it to our stand mixer bowl. All right, so I have everything transferred into our stand mixer bowl. And what we're gonna do now is just go ahead, we have the whisk attachment on. We're gonna go ahead and drop it down. And we're gonna mix this on about medium speed until it starts to become fluffy and have peaks on it. Um, now, you can do this with a hand mixer. It's just going to take you longer because they're generally not a, as powerful. Um, this stand mixer is one I just used for Bath & Body products and I got it for a pretty good price. Um, I think on sale I got it for about $52. It's a Hamilton Beach one and I'll have it linked down in the description box. Uh, I like to keep my baking mixer and my Bath & Body mixer separate. Uh, but you could definitely do this in one that you use for food because all the um, ingredients are natural. I just prefer to keep them separate. All right, so, so I've let this mix for about four to five minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and open it up. You see it's starting to get nice and fluffy on the inside. And now what we're gonna do, and this is the uh, part that helps with the body butter not feeling greasy is we're going to add in three tablespoons of arrowroot powder and that'll really cut down on any sort of greasy feel from the body butter. All right, so I have that added in. So now I'm just going to scrape down the sides and then we'll give it another whisk. All right, so I have the arrowroot powder combined into our mixture. So now we're gonna go ahead and add in our essential oil. I am using lavender, and you're gonna use 20 to 40 drops, just depending on how strong you actually like the scent. Uh, I like to use lavender because I usually shower at night and apply this body butter at night, and it's a great way to help you relax before bed. 
So um, you can definitely put in other oils, but this is just the one I'm using today. All right, and now that I have the oils in, we're just going to give it one more whisk until it's about doubled in size. That'll take in between five to eight minutes, typically. Uh, mixture has whipped, been whipped again and has doubled in size. We're going to go ahead and take it out of the bowl and get it into our jars. You do want to use an airtight jar. Um, you can get, you know, like use a mason jar or these little bale jars I got from Ikea. Those are really good to use and then you'll just want to store it in a cool, dry location. So I'll get it into the jars and then show you what it looks like. And as you can see, we have our jars all filled up here. I made two good sized containers. And then you'll just want to store this in a cool, dry location uh, when you're not using it. That way um, it stays good um, and doesn't melt on you. If it's really hot where you are, you may want to pop it in the refrigerator, but as long as it's not over um, 76 degrees or so, it shouldn't melt on you. Um, and then you just take a little bit of it out. Give it a little rub on your hands and then rub on your skin. And it feels super silky and soft and smells so good with the lavender. Uh, I use this body, body butter all year round. Um, it's not something you just have to use in the winter. You do just have to pay attention if you do make it in the summer uh, that when you're making it, it doesn't get too hot or it could start to liquefy on you again. So just something to keep in mind if you notice that's starting to happen as you're whipping it, just try to pull the mixture back down by popping it in the refrigerator for a couple minutes. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up and I will catch you in my next one. Bye.